guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you haven't been here before, just kidding. Tanny. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you haven't been here before, and if you're joining me for the first time today, welcome. I'm super excited to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I decorated for Christmas. And to be honest, I was a little stuck this year in how I was choosing my decor. I have a lot of Christmas decor from past years. And as you can see, I did like a red, black, and silver theme. That's not what I wanna do next year, so I didn't really buy too many things. I just kind of worked with what I had already. Now, I've had this decor for a few years now, and I am just kind of getting tired of it. So I'm aiming for next year to have a whole different look, a little bit more farmhouse, hopefully. We'll see when we get there. And I know most of you guys have already decorated for Christmas, but there is a little DIY at the end of this video that you might want to recreate later on. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, I post a new video every week. So go ahead and click the bell to get notified when those go live. <laughs> Side note, I definitely made this wreath as another DIY. I don't know what it is with me and wreaths, but if you guys want to see this tutorial, let me know and I'll go ahead and post it on Instagram. Now on to the DIY cabinet wreaths. Here's what you'll be needing. I'm starting off with this wire garland that I found at Five Below. I also found a similar version at the dollar store. As you can see, the one that I measured out is a little bit darker than the one I got from the dollar store. But you're just gonna create a mini wreath by wrapping the garland around itself and securing it. I like to keep one of the original wreaths close by so that way I can always go back and make sure that I'm making them around the same size. The ones on the right are from the Five Below garland and the ones to the left are from the dollar store. I ended up making eight of these for the cabinets in my kitchen. Once you've completed the wreaths, now take your one and a half inch ribbon of choice. I found this one at Walmart, which is very nice. It's a woven ribbon that kind of resembles burlap. 
take your ribbon and create a bow and then go ahead and measure out your ribbon so that way you keep the bows consistent sizes. I went with around 10 inches for my bows. To create my bows, I just took the ends of the ribbon and folded them to the back and pinched in the center to create a very simple bow. Then the next thing you want to do is take some green floral wire and cut it to your desired length. And then I like to secure the bow first, so go ahead and wrap it around the bow and then secure your bow to the wreath. Then continue this step on the rest of the wreaths that you created. Now it's time to add the ribbon where you'll be hanging the wreaths from. Before I did this, I wanted to make sure that I had enough ribbon, so I went ahead and measured my cabinets and about where I wanted the wreaths to hang. I do have two different size cabinets, so I had to make four that were slightly longer than the others. How I went about hanging these wreaths was taking the ribbon and putting it behind the wreath and then wrapping under and over. That way the wreath lays flat up against the cabinet when you do hang it. After I glued the ribbon, I took my measuring tape and measured out the length that I needed, which was 13 inches for four of my wreaths. And then I just continued this step on the remainder of my wreaths. Once you've finished adding the ribbon that you're going to hang your wreaths from, it is time to finally hang them up. Here's a better view of what the bow looks like close up. When I was measuring the ribbon to hang the wreaths from, I did factor in a few extra inches just so that I could have a little leeway if I wanted to move them up or down. And guys, I literally just attached these with some scotch tape on the back of the cupboard. All I did was place the ribbon over the cupboard and then secure it on the inside with a piece of tape. That's it. This is probably one of the easiest DIYs to transform your kitchen during the holidays. And especially if you spend a lot of time in there, it's a great way to spruce up the space. And there you have it, individual cabinet wreaths. So that's how I decorated for Christmas this year. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also go ahead and click the bell to get notified when my new videos go live.